Hello everyone, I am Karan Jain and I welcome you back on our channel Pabli. Today in this video we will learn how to send Black Friday offers on WhatsApp to e-commerce customers. Okay. Now imagine you are using WooCommerce which is an e-commerce platform for your business purpose. Now you have a huge data customer base in your WooCommerce account. You want to send a person, personalized WhatsApp message to each customer of yours for Black Friday offer. But the problem here is, if you'll follow the manual process, you have to first collect the data of your each customer individually. Then individually you have to type a message for them and finally you will send it to them on WhatsApp. This process will be very repetitive, long and it will kill your time unnecessarily. So to save your time, I suggest you to bring some automation here. You want something like, you are using WooCommerce, which is an e-commerce platform, okay? Now you have a huge database here. Now a scheduler will run over the customer database and automatically one by one it will send a personalized message to every customer of yours on WhatsApp. So for that I have used two applications here. First I have used WooCommerce. I have already told you this is an e-commerce platform which I, am, which I am using for my business purpose. And secondly I have used WhatsApp. You know it's a famous chatting app to send them the message to our customers. But here I have to face one more problem. The problem is there is no direct link or integration between these two applications. So how I have performed the automation? Let me tell you. With the help of Pabli Connect. Now you people will say what is Pabli Connect? So Pabli Connect is an integration and automation software. What it will do? It will help us to link both of these applications together so that Every time the scheduler will run over the uh, database, customer database which you have in your WooCommerce account, automatically it will send a personalized WhatsApp message for the Black Friday offer to every customer of yours on WhatsApp. Amazing, right? Now let me tell you one more amazing fact. To use this software Pabli Connect, you need not to have any technical background. A non-technical person can also use this software very easily. Now let me show you a real time example on my screen. Okay guys, so the idea here is, you can see on my screen, this is the list of the customers which I have in my um, WordPress account, in my WooCommerce account, okay. Now I want to send a WhatsApp message for a Black Friday offer to all of these customers. So uh, we are performing an integration and automation uh, process by Pabli okay so here the idea is one by one to every customer automatically a whatsapp message will be sent uh, for the black friday offer on whatsapp let me show you an example of the message how the customers will receive the message so guys you can see on my screen this is how exactly the customer will receive the message every customer will receive the message automatically here you can see a uh, image is posted and uh, the, uh, the uh, message says hello Akash thank you for showing your interest in e-commerce shop one of our team member will contact you shortly meanwhile you can check our brochure which we have attached with this message where you can find all the services which we offer in our shop thank you regards Pabli store so guys you must be thinking how it is possible uh, just by adding the customer in our WooCommerce store all of the database to all of our customer automatically how the uh, message can be sent on WhatsApp. So let me show you the process on my screen guys. Okay guys before we start with the process let me tell you three easy steps of integration as you can see on my screen. Step number one says connect Pabli Connect to WooCommerce. So what we're going to do first is first we will log in into our Pabli Connect account. Then we will integrate our first application which is WooCommerce with Pabli Connect. Now why we are integrating WooCommerce because we have all the customer database uh, in our WooCommerce uh, account. So it is important to first integrate WooCommerce with Pabli Connect. Now step number two says collect the data from WooCommerce in Pabli Connect. So I have already told you we have all the customer base in WooCommerce. I want that data should be transferred into Pabli Connect. So step number two says the same. And step number three says send the message on WhatsApp via 360 dialogue. So in the final step we will be uh, sending a personalized message uh, to our customers on WhatsApp. Uh, but here's the twist guys, we are not integrating WhatsApp directly, instead we are using 360 dialog. Why? Because uh, WhatsApp does not allow you to send messages directly, for that you have to use another software which is official API of WhatsApp that is 360 dialog. Okay guys, now let's start with the process. Okay guys, so to start with the process, you have to first open your browsers, come to the search engine, 
and here you have to search for pably type p a b b l y remember p a b b l y okay now as you can see on my screen we have uh, reached to the website page of pably what you have to do next is click on product and you can see all of the five applications offered by pably today we are using pably connect so click on pably connect okay now you can see this is the landing page of uh, pably connect uh, for the first time users if you can see your green button at my right corner which says sign up for free guys you have to click this and you can create your free account completely free account in just two minutes because i'm already logged in so i'll click on sign in okay one more time you can see all of the five applications offered by pably on my screen as you know today we are in use of pably connect so come on pably connect and click on access now let it load for a second guys and now we have reached to the dashboard of pably connect you can see on my screen this is how the dashboard looks now we have to create a new workflow so for that come to your right corner and click on the blue button which says create workflow a mini a mini box will emerge in front of you which will ask you to name your workflow so let's name our workflow let's say the name of my workflow is woocommerce to whatsapp okay so i have given the name to my uh, workflow the name of the two applications which i am integrating today you can name it accordingly uh, you can name as you wish okay now click on create okay guys as you can see we have entered the workflow here we will be performing the steps of integration okay now before we start uh, uh, let me share one important information with you uh, the workflow which we are creating today this current workflow I'll add the link of this workflow in my description box so you can click on the link and you can directly clone the same workflow guys uh, to your free Pably Connect account don't forget to go and check the link okay uh, now before we proceed first read out what it is written here so that you can understand what is trigger and what is action let me read it out for you here it is written trigger when this happens Choose your first application trigger, action do this, choose your next application action. Now let me tell you what is trigger and action, okay, so that you can uh, understand better how we make the workflow, okay. So trigger is happening of an event and action is the response to it. In this particular case, the trigger event will be running a scheduler over the list of customers which we have in our e-platform, e-commerce platform, which is WooCommerce. So uh, we are running a business on WooCommerce, okay? And we have a customer database there uh, in WooCommerce. Now we are running a scheduler which will go through the list of the customers and one by one, it will uh, send the offer, the Black Friday offer on WhatsApp to them. So trigger event will be running a scheduler on the customer's list, over the customer list. And the, the action response will be automatically one by one uh, customers will be getting a WhatsApp message for the Black Friday offer. So you understood. Trigger is happening of an event and action is the response to it. Okay, now uh, let's start with the process. So we have to choose our first application. Uh, for that, you have to click on your first application, come to the search field. And here you have to search for scheduler. Search for scheduler. As you can see on my screen, I'll click this. Okay. Now you can see guys here, uh, the first uh, question it is asking us is how often you want to run your workflow. So if you'll click this arrow, you can see three options will be given to you at regular intervals once every day. So according to your need, you can choose this. Now I want to send this message to my customer, the Black Friday offer uh, message to my customers only once. So I'll choose this. Okay. Now it is asking us for the date and the time. Okay, so date will remain the same. Uh, I want the same date. You can add it the date if you want. Now in the time box, guys, please read the description here. It is written, please insert the time in UTC plus zero time format only. So there's a difference between UTC and Indian standard time. We are following the Indian standard time. And there is a difference of five and a half hours between UTC time and the Indian standard time. Let me show it to you. If you'll go to Google, and you will simply search for UTC time, UTC time in India, click this and open the first website. Here you can see India is five hour and 30 minutes ahead 
of a coordinated universal time so click on the first side and you can see here and chart will be given to you now according to your need according to the indian time at what time you want to send the message for suppose i want to send the black friday message at 9 30 so the utc time will be 4 am so what i'll do i'll go back to my uh Pabli connect and here i'll write 4 okay so i am entering the utc format here i'm entering the utc time so that the message will be sent on indian time Indian time will be 9.30 and I have entered 4, uh, 4 o'clock. Okay, now I'll click on save. So we have successfully uh, edited the scheduler in our workflow. Now come down, come to your next application. So come to the search field and here you have to search for WooCommerce. Okay, click on WooCommerce. Now a new field of action event will emerge in front of you. If you will click this arrow, you can see the various action event. Now I want a particular action event, which is get all customers. Okay. So this is the particular action event, get all customers because the scheduler will run through the list of the customers, all of the customers. So here the action event we have chosen is get all customers. Now I'll click on connect. A mini window will emerge in front of you asking for two options, add new connection and select existing connection. So I'll click on add new connection. And now guys here it is asking us for three uh, fields to fill. First it is asking for the consu consumer key. Second it is asking for consumer secret. And thirdly it is asking for website URL. So let me first take you to my uh, Word WordPress account and let me show it to you from where you can find these values. So guys, you can see on my screen, this is my account on WooCommerce. Okay, pay to wallet. Now come to your left corner here. Some options are given to you. Search for WooCommerce here. Search for WooCommerce. Click on WooCommerce. Now come to settings. Here settings is given to you. Click on settings. Let it load guys. Okay. Now here at the top, you can see some options are given to you. Search for advanced. Search for advanced. Click on advanced. Okay, now uh, this is how it will appear on screen as soon as you will click on advanced. Now you have to click on come to page setup. Here you can see some options. Click on the first option, which is rest API key. Click on rest API key. And now guys click on add key because we are generating a new connection with Pabli connect here. So we will add new key. Click on add key. Okay, uh, this is how the page will appear in front of you. Now here you have to give the name to your uh, key, the API key. Let's say we will uh, give the name as Black Friday. Okay, you can give the name uh, according to your wish. It is not compulsory to name any uh, necessary, uh, uh, give a necessary name to this key. Okay, so I have given Black Friday here and now I'll click on generate API key. Guys, both the keys have been generated, the consumer key and the consumer secret key. What you have to do, first you have to copy the consumer key, go back to your Pabli Connect account, remove the previous field data and simply paste it here. So it was the consumer key, then come to the consumer secret key, copy it, go back to your Pabli Connect account, remove the previous data and simply paste it here. Now come to the website URL. Let me tell you what is website URL. Okay, here you can see it is written pay to wallet.com slash WP3. So this is my website URL. Yours will be the same, uh, the uh, website URL which will be given on the top. So you have to search for your own website URL. Remember, you have to copy the first part of uh, website URL. Copy it. Go back to your Pabli Connect account and simply paste it here now click on save and you will be successfully uh, connected authorized into your workflow here you can see you have been uh, successfully connected with woocommerce you have integrated woocommerce with pabli connect now what you have to do is unbutton this simple response unbutton this and then click on save and send test request why we have unbuttoned the simple response because I want the responses in the advanced format. What is the advanced format here? If you can see in the responses, you have got all the customers, 
all the details of the customers which are there in your WooCommerce account here in Pabli Connect at one go. Now we have to uh, separate these uh, uh, responses. I want the data of our first customer. So what we will do, we will put a iterator. We will put iterator in this particular workflow. Now iterator will help us to bring the responses in the array format. So for that, you have to click on this plus button. The next action field will appear in front of you. Come to the search field and here you have to search for iterator. Iterator, click on iterator. Uh, now the new field of choose area will uh, come in front of you, emerge in front of you. Now here the response is already mapped. This response here, you can see this response is already mapped here. All you have to do is click on save and send test request. Now here you can see uh, we have got the detail of our customer, the first customer here. Now let me take you back to my WooCommerce account and let me show you the list of the customer I am talking about. Okay, so let me show you the customers here. I'll go to users. Okay, and here you can see all of the users. Okay, I have in my WooCommerce account. Now uh, the idea here is scheduler will run through this uh, 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 data, uh, the customer data to all of the customer data and one by one it will send uh, the Black Friday offer message to our customers on WhatsApp. So first it will send to uh, Akash, then Edmin, then Gary, then Karan, then Konal and one by one it will send till the end. It will check, uh, the scheduler will check the uh, customer database and from start to end it will send the message one by one to everyone. Okay. So I have connected WooCommerce, then I have put iterator here. I have got the details of my first customer. Now we will jump to our final uh, step, which is integrating WhatsApp to send the messages to our customer on WhatsApp. But here's the twist guys, we are not integrating WhatsApp directly. Instead, we are using 360 dialogue here. Why? Because WhatsApp does not allow you to send messages directly. For that, you have to use another software, which is official API of WhatsApp, that is 360 dialog. So to integrate 360 dialog, you have to click on the plus sign. Come to the search field of your action and search for 360 dialog. Type 360 dialog. Here you can see on my screen. Click this. And a new field of action event will emerge in front of you. Now, if you will click this arrow, you can see the uh, action event, various action event. I want to choose this particular action event, which is send template message. I'll click here. And now I'll click on connect. Okay, so a mini window will emerge in front of you asking for two options. I'll click on add new connection. And now guys, it is asking me to fill up the value in two required field. The first field it is asking for the API key and second is domain. So let's read out the description so that we can uh, see from where we can find the API key. Here it is written, enter API key here. You can create API key in your 360 dialog account. Log into your 360 dialog account, move to WhatsApp account page from the left sidebar and click on generate API key button. Okay. And in the domain, it is written, enter the domain here, which you will get while generating the API key example, barber.360dialog.io. Okay. So guys, let me take you to my account on 360 dialog and let me show it to you practically how you can find the values of API key and the domain. So as you can see on my screen, this is my account on 360 dialog. Now, if you are in doubt how I have reached to my account on 360 dialog or how I have created my account on 360 dialog. So for that, we have created a different video and I have added the link of that video in my description box. Guys, I have added one more link in my description box. Now, if you'll go through that link, you can avail the services of this particular application 360 dialogue at very affordable price instead of the usual price they charge. So don't forget to go and check both of the links in bio uh, guys. Okay. Now let me show it to you uh, where to find the API key for that. Come to your left corner here. You can see three options are given to you. Click on WhatsApp accounts. Now come to your right corner below here. A blue button is given which says generate API key. Now listen to this information very carefully guys. Click here on generate API key and your API key will be generated along with the domain. 
Now this process of generating API key is a one time process so you don't have to do it again and again. Just click here once and your API key and the domain will be generated. Now the same API key and the domain can use can be used for different workflows. I am telling you again and again this is a one time process. You have to generate the API key only once. Now as soon as you will generate the API key simply you have to copy it come back to Pabli Connect and paste it here. Same uh, you have to do with the domain, copy the domain, go back to your Pabli Connect account and paste it here. Okay. Uh, now guys, I have already told you this is a one time process. So I have already generated my API key and the domain. So uh, let me paste it here and then I'll click on save. So I'll be successfully authorized back to my workflow. Now because of some security reasons, I cannot show you this process. So let me complete this process guys. Trust me, this is a very simple process. All you have to do is click here on generate API key. Your API key will be generated. Copy API key and the domain. Go back to your Pabli Connect account and paste it here accordingly. Now click on save and you will be successfully authorized then back to your workflow. Okay, let me complete this process fast guys. So you can see on my screen, I have been successfully authorized and back to my workflow. Now the first field we have to fill is template. Before we fill anything, let me show it to you what is template. If I'll go back to my account on 360 dialog, besides generate API key, it is written show details. Click on show details. Now at the top, you can see three options are given to you. Click on templates and here you can see various templates, all of the templates which I have created for different workflow. Okay. Now for this particular workflow, I have created a particular template which is send fried data to. Let me show it to you. So guys, you can read it here. Template is nothing but just the body of SMS which will be sent to our customers. Let me read it out for you. Here it is written, hello one, thank you for showing your interest in two. One of our team member will contact you shortly. Meanwhile, you can check our brochure which we have attached with this message where you can find all the services which we offer in our three. Thank you, regards four. Now you people must be thinking what are these numbers in double boxes and why they are given here. So guys, these numbers are nothing but they are just the variables which will be keep changing according to our, uh, according to the information of our customer. For example, uh, in the place of number one, the name of our customer will come. So as soon as I'll enter the name in body field one, automatically you will see this number will change and will take place uh, uh, instead of the number, the original value, which is the name will take place here. So let me show it to you. Let's say our uh, uh, customer's name is Akash Belkar. You can see as soon as I have uh, entered the value in body field one, automatically the number has changed and the value has taken place. Same goes with body field two, three, four. Okay. Now guys, we have to create a template. Okay. Let me show it to you how you can create a template for that. Go uh, to your uh, top and uh, at the right corner, you can see a blue button, which says add template. You have to click this and guys, a format of template will appear in front of you. Now you can name your template from here. You can select the language in which particular language you want the body of SMS. And finally, you will type the body of SMS here. Now guys, listen to this carefully again. After creating the template, you have to click on preview and submit. Okay. After you will create the template guys, you have to send your template for approval process. The approval process is done by Facebook and the approval process takes from two hours to two days. If I'll tell you in general, the approval process uh, is done within a day, but it is very important to first create the template and then send it for approval because guys, if you won't send it for approval the template then your template cannot be used let me show it to you on my screen if you can see all my templates are approved here okay that's why i can use these templates to my workflow now i want to uh, map the particular template which i have shown it to you here in my public connect account so what i'll do i'll go to the template here i'll click uh, on this arrow in template field and I'll search for the particular template which was send fry data to. So this is the name of my template. I have searched for it. Simply I'll click here and it will be mapped uh, in the template field. Let it load for a second guys. 
Now, this two fields, you need not to do anything with these two fields. The namespace will be automatically be filled up. Same goes with the language code. Here it is written EN. Guys, let me tell you EN is the code for English language. If I'll uh, show you in my 360 dialogue account, in the language section, here it is written EN, EN, EN. Guys, this shows us that all our templates are in the English language as EN is the code for English. So here it is written EN. Same, uh, it will be automatically be filled up here in language code and namespace will be automatically be filled up as well. Now come to your next field, which is recipient mobile number. Guys, we have to map the number, the number from the responses, which we have got above here. Now, what is mapping data? Let me tell it to you. If you'll click on this field, the scroll down will appear in front of you. Now go to the responses of iterator, click on iterator. You can see the responses. Now these responses are the same responses, which we have captured above here in Pabli connect. Now this uh, uh, feature of mapping data is given to you because whenever you are required to uh, fill up the value in the uh, particular field you need not to go up again and again search for the data copy it come down and paste instead you can simply map the data it is asking us for the recipient mobile number i'll go to the scroll down and simply i'll search for the number this is the number i'll uh, click on the number and it will be successfully mapped now here uh, it is written header image url so here we will add the image of black friday which we have uh, uploaded now i have uploaded uh, uh, an image of black friday offer in my google drive account let me take uh, take you to my Google Drive account and let me show it to you the image and how you can copy the URL of the image. So uh, for that go to your new window, click on the uh, Google Apps and click on Drive. So guys this is my uh, Google Drive account. Now let me search for the particular image which I was talking about. So guys, you can see on my screen, this was the particular image I was talking about, uh, the image I have uploaded for the offer of Black Friday. Uh, what you have to do next is go to your right corner where it is uh, three buttons are given to you. Click here, click on share. Okay. Now here it is written get link and anyone on the internet with this link can view. What I'll do simply I'll copy the link, go back to my public connect account and I'll paste it here simple now the next field is uh, body field one in the example it is given name so here we have to map the name how again click on the field go to the responses search for the value which is name click here and it will be successfully mapped okay now in the body field two it is written product name so it will be e-commerce here we will write e-commerce shop okay now in body field three in the example product details is given to you so here i'll write shop okay guys this is just for an example when you will create your template you will create your template according to yourself now you can keep the variables according to your wish if you want to keep one variable for the name and rest you want to fix rest of the values you want to fix you can keep that way if you want to edit two three four variables you can edit now when you will create the template you have to take care of the variables you have to uh, keep the variables according to your wish and the same variables will be used for different workflows i mean the same template will be used for different workflow so uh, when you will create the template please create the template with uh, with full concentration okay now in body field 4 it is written uh, company name so here i'll write pabli store okay now we have successfully filled up all the details here uh, uh, let me see once again we have mapped the template we have mapped the number we have mapped the image uh, the body fields we have mapped what we have to do now is click on save and send test request and we will see the responses if they are positive or not Yes, guys, the responses are completely positive. As you can see, there is no error it is showing to us. Now, let me take you to my WhatsApp web page. I have opened it for you. And let's see an example of a customer, of a single customer, how the customer will see the message. Let me show it to you. Guys, as you can clearly see, a message has just arrived for Akash. 
and the message says hello akash belkar thank you for showing your interest in e-commerce shop one of our team member will contact you shortly meanwhile you can check our brochure which we have attached with this message where you can find all the services which we offer in our shop thank you regards pabli store now guys uh, this is just for an example i have shown it to you it is not possible to um, log in different whatsapp web and at the same time to show all the uh uh messages which will be received by the customer but trust me i have shown you the example just like how akash have received the message others will also receive the message at the same time okay now let me show you one more time what we have done in our workflow okay so first we have put scheduler the uh we have put scheduler in our workflow then we have integrated woocommerce and we have chosen the trigger event action event as get all customers okay now the idea is scheduler will run through the customer list to the customer data which we have in our e-commerce platform and uh, then we have uh, chosen iterator because here in the woocommerce responses we have got all the details of the customer in a nutshell so we have to separate it in the array format so for that we have used an iterator here then finally we have integrated 360 dialog here to send the customers the whatsapp message uh for the black friday offer so here we have using 360 dialog instead of whatsapp so guys you have seen it is a very simple workflow of uh, uh, four steps now i'll add the link of the same workflow in my description box guys so you can click on the link and you can directly clone the same workflow into your free pabli connect account don't forget to go and check the link guys Hello guys before you leave let me tell you not only just these applications but you can integrate tons of other applications by using Pabli Connect if you want to contact us this is our email id admin@pabli.com if you have any further queries you can always visit to this website and guys if you really like the video please don't forget to like share and hit the subscribe button it will really keep us boosted and we will keep providing you such videos thank you